Well, Pat's oral surgery went a okay. I texted him back and forth this weekend, uh, and uh, he's still taking the day though, uh, one more day, uh, just to get used to uh, what was done in his mouth. And so, in his mouth and out of his ears, uh, uh, it is time for our forecast. Uh, Anthony, are you there? Hello. Hey, Marshall. How are you? Good morning. How are you? How are you? It's been a while. It's, yeah, it's been a real while, and I'm, I'm glad Pat took the day off today because we had snow here yesterday. Yes, and what month is it? Yeah, that's interesting. We're all, <laughs> what, 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 two, two, two weeks away from Memorial Day? Yeah, it's uh, a little unseasonable uh, weather pattern that's settled in, uh, and we've got, you know, it's not unheard of to have, you know, that kind of thing, even into early May, you know, in our area, not common, certainly, but um, we're fortunately, we're going to be getting out of this pattern soon, but we're going to have to deal with rain today and the temperature is way below average for today to tomorrow. So basically almost like a nor'easter forming later this afternoon. Uh, so n- not a great uh, stretch of weather, but it's going to be getting better. Trust me, especially as we head towards the second half of the week. I tell you, it's just been uh, it's been nuts. Uh, the uh, the uh, Massachusetts Turnpike extension in New York State over to the New York State Thruway had it closed yesterday afternoon. Of course, because none of the plows had any were, were set up, none of the trucks were set up for this. No plows. They didn't have. They weren't loaded with salt and sand and stuff. They actually had to close that section of road for about three hours. Yeah. So, so it, I mean, and, and we even got snow here at some locations where, 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 you know, on grassy areas and stuff like that. It never got to freezing. It got down to about 35, 36 yesterday, but it never got to freezing. So plants weren't that weren't affected, but right. but human beings were affected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At your house too? Did you, you saw snow? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't. It didn't really. Uh, it only came it mixed in with the rain at my house. Some places had sleet. Other places had uh, just snow where it accumulated a little, a little bit. So, but not at my house. It was just snow. Sl- you know, rain and snow mixed together. Right. Right. Yeah, still, but we want to get out of that, you know, by this time of year. But uh, I see some light end at the end of the tunnel. Uh, this weather pattern is going to be, after the storm moves away, we're going to be seeing temps back to average as soon as Wednesday. So you're going to, you know, it's going to feel like a, it's going to be terrific Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Temperature wise, no complaints after tomorrow. After so. tomorrow, you think that light at the end of the tunnel? You, hopefully, it's not a train. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna be. Uh, you know, we paid for it the last uh, few days. We're gonna uh, get. It's gonna be our turn to uh, get this real nice wet May weather to come back. At least the rain. Uh, you know, it gets rid of some of the pollen out of the air, and it, it's good from that perspective. But I think by the weekend, uh, uh, Marshall, we could have temps near eighty. So feeling almost almost like summer. Not humid, but definitely feeling very warm. All right. All right, so there, there's that. And there's no chance of any snow uh, coming up at this event, right? I would say for today, we're, we'll just get to see rain <laughs> okay. for, as this coastal storm develops. But, you know, some of the hills around, uh, if you're headed north, you might encounter uh, some of the highest terrain, some snow. Uh, but for, you know, everybody else, just rain. Okay. I'll hold you that to that, and I'll track you down if you're wrong. Right. I'll track I'm you here. down. <laughs> I'll hit you with a couple of... Uh, Ski poles, if it if that happens, I don't own them. I'll have to go out and buy them, but uh, they'll do that. So, what have you been doing? For, I have we haven't spoken to you in about a month or two, right? Uh yes, that's right. It, I guess it was uh, Mar- maybe it was oh, that I was here during the week. Yeah, it was probably early March. So, yeah, quite a while. As Pat's been doing his thing, I do my weekends here and my other jobs elsewhere. But uh, it's definitely great to be back and uh, doing uh, the the live weathers. Uh, so now, so what did you what, did you do? Anything exciting in the past month and a half, or were you like me, where you just went home and sat in a chair and molted? <laughs> well, yeah, I do. Uh, I have some weather graphics for ABC, and I do um, my DJ business, which I've been doing a lot as well. So uh, I do some of the some parties around uh, downstate New York, and uh, so that's my other passion. You know, music. I'm very much into music, and uh, I want to do some traveling, maybe. Uh, in the summer, maybe head uh, up to uh, Quebec. Quebec? Yes. Quebec. Why would you want to go to Quebec? Oh, I haven't been to Quebec City yet. I heard Quebec City is very nice. I guess in the summertime, it's a good place to go to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be maybe the end of June. 
Quebec. Do you speak? Uh, do you speak? Uh, uh, fr Parlez-vous français? Practically none. Uh oh. Yeah, you know, they they speak a lot of French up there. You know. Yeah, they're, they're very uh, holding on to that French uh, tradition and uh, Quebec, unlike the rest of Canada. But uh, they might see you and say "Sacre bleu." <laughs> Sacre bleu. Well, I think it's good uh, that you're going to travel to Quebec. You know, get a little get a little things going for yourself. Yeah, I love love traveling. That's my number three hobby. Now, do you travel alone or do you travel with people? I could do uh, both. I mean, I like traveling alone actually, because uh, you know, and and then you meet new people. You know, when you travel new places, I've met friends abroad. So, so I would I, I like. Uh, so uh, you don't want to be alone. encumbered by it. You want to meet women. That's what you want. Yeah, and you can meet people, you know, because, you know, when, anytime you, you, people are friendly, if they're friendly, you just strike up, a, strike up a conversation. And, you know, they're fascinated by uh, Ameri you know, American tourists or wherever you're from. Well, uh, if you go out of your country, you know, the first question they're going to ask you is an American. What What's that? What do you think the first question will be once you're introduced and you're talking to somebody and they find out you're an American? What do you think the first question will be? Oh, I don't know. What, uh, or what topic do you think it'll be? Maybe Trump. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You know it's gonna, it has to happen. You know it has to happen. They're going to ask you about Trump. You know, because Trump. I think when you come from America and you go to visit another country, that you're pretty close to the president. You know what I mean? They think that you got inside information. And we don't. They know what we know. <laughs> So that's what would happen. So see if that happens. When and when and I want you when you're in Quebec, and don't egg anybody on, but you start talking to a stranger and stuff like that. Let me know if if one of the questions, one of the first questions they asked you was was about uh, Trump. Just let me know if that happens. Yeah, I definitely will. All right. All right. So we got that straightened away. Uh, what else do we have here? What else do we have here? Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Not much else. You know. We, Pat's a uh, Pat's gonna be back, and you're gonna go back into oblivion. Yeah, but Pat was very nervous about that. Oh, surgery, I but. spoke to him for two weeks. I had that stuff done. Right, I was trying to tell him, okay. Pat, it's not as bad as you think. It's, and I'm a person who's afraid of dentists. Okay, I, my see. dentist for my my dentist, which cured me of being afraid, was Don Martin. He retired, and now I've got another great dentist, which. Don introduced me to, which works fine. I'm a, I'm a chicken when it comes to being in, in, in a dentist chair. But I went through 90% of what Pat was going to go through, okay? And I was trying to tell him, yeah, it's going to be this, it's going to be that, but, uh, you know, and so I said, it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. And he and he said it wasn't. And I, I told him, have it done on a Friday, and the worst that will happen is uh, take a Monday off because you got to get used to speaking with the new temporary thing in. Uh, right, right. You have to. You just have to. I, you know. But your voice doesn't sound any different, really. It does to you, but not to anybody else. That's what you have to get used to. Yes, it sounds a little different to yourself, and it feels different when you're when you're talking. Okay, and it takes a couple of days to get used to. Hmm. But it does. It does not sound any different to anybody else. But to you, it does. Yeah, that's interesting. And that's what you have to get used to. And also there's a little bit of pain because they're swelling, but not much. Not much. So, uh, and like I said, the last thing I said to Pat before we, he went off the air on Friday was this. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's beneficial. When it's all done, it's beneficial. But, uh, but yeah, he was nervous. He was, I, have, I haven't, you know, I've seen him nervous before, uh, but never this nervous. Mm. Never. Yeah, I I had never either actually. Yeah. Uh with you know with his mom, uh he was always nervous. Uh but this he was so nervous and I just tried to calm him down. And he you know he doesn't even drink so he I can you can't tell him to drink, have a few drinks, relax. You know, right, he, he right. doesn't he doesn't drink. And any anybody that's never had a corned beef sandwich, what can you do with them, you know what I mean? <laughs> you had a corned beef sandwich, right? Oh yes. Okay. He hasn't. He's never, ever, ever had a corned beef sandwich. Hmm. Never. Not corned beef and cabbage either. No. I, but I, how can you go through life not having a corned beef sandwich? I mean, yeah. that's to me that's 
almost sacrilegious. You know, when he gets up to the pearly gates, right. one of his one of his entrance exams is going to be they're going to give him a corned beef on rye. They're going to say you have to eat this to get in. What's he yeah, going to do? What's he going to do? Is, is he going to turn down Saint Peter? Well, everyone has their quirks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, I want you to have a quirk-free rest of the day. Okay, yes. And uh, we'll quirk, speak to you again whenever there's a crisis with Pat. <laughs> well, I'll be here tomorrow to cover one more, more day tomorrow. Oh, you're going to come in one more day tomorrow? Yes. Oh, yes. He's now, he's now he's milking this. Now he's milking this. <laughs> I'm going to send him a text. Now he's really milking this. Come on. Uh-huh. Can you he's spell P U S S Y? Well, he's really milking <laughs> this. I'm going to send him a text later on. Thanks for letting me know that. <laughs> I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thanks, Marshall. Take care. Look forward to it. All right, bye bye. Uh, Anthony J. This morning with the with the with the forecast.